Hey, it's your girl Destiny Desiree back with another video and today I'm doing a get ready with me as you can see by the title. Um, I'm sorry for the fact that I sound a bit stuffy. The weather is currently changing like back and forth here in Tallahassee so I am stuffy. I'm not sick. It's only my nose like my sinuses are really acting up really bad but um yeah, I apologize that y'all gotta hear me like this. Anyways, I do just want to give a special shout out to all my supporters. Thank you for everyone who continuously support me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. Oh, and let me start off by also saying today is Valentine's Day, y'all. So, you know, if you got that special someone, just show y'all. What did I say? Tuesday, February. 14th like if you got a special someone you guys just enjoy the day don't argue you know just live up the moment and if you don't have that special someone it's okay to get yourself stuff and self-love is always the best love so buy yourself that thing that you said or that item that you said was too expensive you can always make the money right back but nine times out of ten we don't know if we're promised tomorrow so why not live it up today anyways let me not give y'all too much lectures let me go ahead and start to get ready so today i gotta go to class um i do have me a valentine's day outfit but ew like why is that broke there like ew but let me go ahead and start getting ready okay so as you can see i have on my haitian mommy dress like we call them moomoo's but don't not too much on me because it's like i feel like it's so easier to just throw on a quick nightgown versus putting on all that clothes and last night i was just so exhausted i didn't feel like being like wrapped up in so much clothes so i just threw me on a nice little moo moo and kept it pushing but i know y'all probably see my chest i don't really show my chest because of this because literally i used to spray perfume on my chest and um this was not too long ago like a year or two ago before i started realizing when you pop bumps they leave blackheads or they leave black spots so i um i used to pop every single bump that i because i have sensitive skin so i used to pop every single bump that i would get from spraying perfume on my chest and yeah that's how they created this but it was way worse i've been using turmeric so it's been getting better so yeah i just wanted to point that out because it is most definitely noticeable and y'all i've been going like this so i could smell because i can't smell nothing okay let me stop talking out of there let me just go ahead and get ready and um i gotta cut my music all the way down i like to get ready with music but I can't be competing with music. I already style stuffy, so you barely can you barely can hear me. So I'm not gonna compete with that music. I'm gonna just cut it like all the way down. Yeah, but let me go ahead and get ready. I normally lay this on my face for about five to ten minutes as you can see it started like soaking my skin so i'm about to go ahead and take it off with some warm water um in a rag normally what i do while i'm waiting for it to dry is probably find something else to do so i went ahead and fixed my head or whatever while i was waiting but i'm gonna go ahead and take it off I went ahead and um, took a shower here. So now I'm about to start putting my clothes and basically getting ready. Um, I start off with pants first. So I like to wear sports bras because it's more comfortable to me. But like that's what I got on. I got on sports bra and then some regular underwear. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on my pants. I got these pants from Fashion Nova. They are some leather like pants. They're very stretchy. Um, I had a pretty bad experience with leather before um, in a previous video on like a try-on haul. It was like a Shein video. 
and i have to say i think it's just the quality you know she is a bit cheaper so i feel like the leather pants from Shein just wasn't it because these leather pants are not as bad um i tried them on already when i put them on i don't feel like a garbage bag so i honestly feel like i'm gonna just stick with getting leather pants from like higher um priced places or more quality places such as fashion over or like pretty little thing or something but stuff like that i probably won't really get from Shein. most of the times i really only get shirts and tops from Shein or like accessories and bags because the pants never fit from Shein, like it don't matter if I get extra large, two eggs, and that's crazy because like in reality I'm not even that size. Like in Fashion Nova, I'm only uh, large or extra large. But then when I get to Shein, I be trying to go more up because for some reason their items run small when it comes to pants, and I they still don't fit. So it's just like whatever. I just gave up on buying pants from Shein. All right, so. I got the pants on, now I'm about to go ahead and put them in the shirt. So it's like a sweatshirt with hearts all around it. It's like a, like a cute little sweatshirt for um, Valentine's Day. It has hearts all around it. So that's what we're wearing today. Just a quick, simple outfit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I need to go ahead and put up my fire in this one so it can start to get hot so I can fix it. I'm about to go ahead and cut my outfit's bunnet. Um, this bunnet I got from Shein. I love this bunnet because it's like a scarf and a bunnet in one so you don't have to like, um, wear one or the other. Like, you don't have to wear a scarf and then a bunnet. So, yeah. So I got a flat iron and everything. It's me who really don't feel like it's in my hair. <sighs> but I'm gonna fix it. It's not really much to fix, but they don't mean I'm gonna fix it. Normally, when I do my hair, like after I get whatever content I need to get, I just leave that bitch in on it because, yeah, I don't feel like doing it. And I just put it in a nice little place for the go to break, and that's it. But I feel like that's really only because I don't go nowhere. So, I don't be taking, like, after it's like, my big feet is just so noticeable. After like the first day or so, like I have videos, like I take videos like when I first get my hair done, and then after that, it's just like ain't no more seeing my hair. Like it's in a bunny, and I just put it on to the good work, or it just look so well, cause I have I don't take like I don't give it the proper maintenance. So yeah, but it's really good. That I don't go nowhere. I need to go back over that one. Yeah, I don't come over that long. But school will be work. And so I just be feel like, what's the point? I can like comb this out and slick it up. Because that is so unladylike to me. Okay, well, I just gotta do this side. Okay, so I went ahead and firing all the rest of my hair. Now I have to try to fix my edges. Um, I did have one for me yet, I said just smooth this little piece right there. Like that. Okay, 
So now I'm trying to hot cool it and get all of the green. Hold on, let me take this off. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So now I'm probably gonna put some right there, put some wax in, I'll come on my top. But for the shine and flyaway, like to get the hair like a shiny look and any flyaways, I just get some of the heat protectant and I put it in my hand, in the palm of my hand. Then I get some cuts to be spray and just put it on that heat protectant in the palm of my hand. And then I rub it together and just pat it on my hair. Works like a charm. It gives the hair that shine, but then it also keeps the, all those flyaways down. Just like that. Now, this is the final look of my hair. So, I'm about to go ahead and put on my lashes and do the last little bit of the hand shoes, stuff like that. Okay, so before I used to use hair glue, now, I no longer use hair glue. I use this kiss glue. And I personally like it because it dries clear. It don't leave no residue. Like the hair glue obviously leaves like a black residue on my lash. Not even just on my lashes. Sometimes if I put it wrong, I leave it on my eyes. Versus this, it just leaves a clear residue. But the problem is if you put it on before like you're supposed to wait i guess 30 seconds before you put it on and you were to get it like anywhere else you still feel that sticky feeling but at least it's not like at least it's not like a dark mark on your lid of, the, of your eyelid like that's what i always used to do when i use dirty stuff and then i found it easier if i hold it with a tweezer like I put them on with my hands too but if I want to get it positioned right where I want it I found it easier to use a tweezer so if I want it right there see I could put it right where I want it with a tweezer versus my hand it's like I be shaking and I always do my best one, left one first because obviously I'm right handed so the right one is easier to put on, but the left one, that's why I just always put my left one on first. My left one is actually the easier one to put on. I don't know, I always struggle with my right. Okay, so let me go ahead and put it on. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm just not feeling it. Every time I get so close to doing it, I sneeze. So I'm not even gonna try. I'm not doing lashes today. It is what it is. The day is close on. So now we're just gonna continue to put the rest of the outfit on because obviously the lashes didn't work out. So I'm about to go ahead and put it on my joint on. I gotta fix that. Got my handovers on. I'm about to put them in my watch. Okay, Pandora bracelet, watch, necklace. Man, I don't like this. I wish I had a different chain. I only have one chain right now. 
and multiple pendants. But we should glide door through the one chain. get my tennis shoes in youth sizes but they didn't have them in youth sizes so I bought them in like men slash women sizes and I don't I don't know what possessed me but I went two sizes up so I got a seven in men and I think that's a nine in women and they are too big and they look very long but I'm hoping but I tr when I try them on, I try them on with no socks. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping with socks that they'll look a little bit more presentable. I feel like it's still gonna look long, but at least it don't look like big, or at least don't feel big on my feet. So I just did the lace. So I'm gonna try to put them on right now. Or maybe because the laces was like undone too, because that's how stockings gave them to me. Yeah, because now I can't even fit my big fat foot in this. Y'all, I don't know if it's just me, but when I see shoes on people's feet, I feel like they look so cute. Then when I see them on my feet, I feel like they look so long or so big. Because what? I feel like these shoes look so long. And they still, like, they aren't as bad as it was before with the socks on, but they are still big. Like, they still feel big. But I'm gonna just leave it. So yeah, I got both my shoes on now. Um, I'm gonna wear this purse. I'm gonna go ahead and pack my bag. I put all my school stuff in here, and basically just put all my stuff up. So unpack my um, school bag and put all my hair stuff back up. Yeah, and then we could go ahead and head out. This is the final look. Let's get it. But I'm about to go ahead and head out. Okay, so got my bag, my school book bag. But this is the final look. Shoes. Anywho, I'm about to go ahead and head out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you guys.